Was it all right? All right. Last night, I, I haven't got much to compare it to. What, and I have? Well, you know, with Jordan. Jen? It was fine. Fine? Okay, I, I get the message, not so great. <laughs> Bit quiet. Bit of a hangover, I think. Well, you, you didn't have much. You know how it gets you sometimes. Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck, was it that bad? Have I just blown it by being completely shit? No. Can you just not imagine a relationship with someone who's so epically bad at shagging? I, I will get better, I, I promise, with, with a bit of practice. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Could even practice now a bit if if you want. No, I don't think so. No, no, it's my mum will be here soon anyway. Yeah, sure. And I told him not to come around for a while. That's it. What else can I do, Nate? Well, you can talk to the police. You can get a restraining order. I don't need you to tell me how to handle this. That is so arrogant and patronising. I just need you to listen to me. Brenda, you can't just sit around waiting for the next crazy thing Billy does. You need to do something now. Do you think that was easy for me? Just cutting him off like that? Do you even comprehend what it's like to be responsible for someone your whole life? Do you even get the concept of loving somebody that much? Yes, I get that concept. He's sick. He's not just sick, he's dangerous. He built a bomb. He snuck into our hotel room and took photos of us in bed. What's he going to do next time? I took his key away from him. Yeah, well, he didn't have a key in Vegas. That didn't stop him then. I'm sorry. I know you don't trust your parents, but I really think they're right on this. He needs to be somewhere. This is so not how I need you to be right now. What are you doing? I don't want to discuss this with you anymore. In fact, you know what? Why don't we just take some time off? What is this? Oh, you dumped Billy, so now you got to dump me? Don't you analyse me. You might as well throw away your key, because I changed the lock. Sorry. You should be. Jesus. I did say no. You did not? I did. When? Uh, at what point exactly did you say when no? When you were taking my knickers down? I, I didn't hear I you. I said it twice. I didn't. Really? Because I didn't hear anything Are like you that. you saying I'm lying? No, but... Maybe what? Maybe you thought you said it, but you I actually didn't. I said it, all right? Well, not very loud. I said it twice. I said no, then I said no, stop. And when I didn't stop, you should have maybe said it again. Maybe a bit louder. I didn't want to make it a whole big thing. It wouldn't have been. If I tried to stop you, you'd have just tucked yourself away. Been all right with that, would you? Yes. Wouldn't have got all moody and called me a slut and Christ knows what? Not a chance. I'd say that now. I'd say that always. The thing is, I think you did hear me. I thought you heard me. Like, maybe you stopped what you were doing just a second and then you carried on. I said no, and I was sure you heard me say no, but you still carried on. So then I said no, stop, and you still carried on. So then I thought, well, first I said no, and then I said no, stop, and he's still carrying on. So what now? What if I try and stand up to him and things just get much fucking worse? But it was just a misunderstanding if you really didn't hear, hold so on, let's just leave on, it at that, shall we? You let me do it to you because you thought I'd... What? Hit you if you didn't? I don't know. You do. Of course you fucking do. You know I'm not like that. How do I know? All I know is that I said stop and you carried on. on. That is... How can you even say I am like I that? I don't know what you're like until you show me. 